All right, guys, so I'm not going to dance around this too much. I'm sure you're all familiar with the recent drama between Just Destiny and LT Cobra, and I'm sure you're as well sick of it as I am, but unfortunately this video is on that situation. Furthermore, this video is probably not going to really be well liked, uh, because unlike many of the commentators discussing this topic, I'm going to be focusing on more of the negatives around LT Cobra instead of Just Destiny. If you're not interested in actually hearing me out and just want to assume I'm a Just Destiny dick rider by default, please slap that dislike button, type an incoherent accusation in the comments about how I'm a clout chaser, and I won't see you in the next video. That out of the way, let's get into this. I got a lot to go over in a short time to do it. So I finally got around to watching LT Cobra's video on Just Destiny. Don't get me wrong, I wanted to see it quite a bit once this controversy blew itself straight out of proportion, but I hadn't really seen it prior to this whole thing because his content really isn't my cup of tea. I think the kid has talent, sure, and I ain't knocking anyone who enjoys his content, it's just not really my thing. Now, after watching it, I think we can all agree that, you know, Just Destiny was in the wrong when he copyright struck him. Uh, he's very clearly in the wrong there, and I don't think anyone at all could dispute that much. Now that said... LT Cobra isn't in the right by default simply because Just Destiny is in the wrong. Sometimes there's no right and wrong, and what we're left with is wrong and wronger. Which is a bit of how the situation is kind of looking to me. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Now, obviously, I think we need to begin here with the elephant in the room. Pitiful accusations. So, LT Cobra goes pretty hard on this topic in his video, which he seems to claim was just a joke. Big quotation marks around that, mind you. But I want to explore the issues with his statements of it being a joke. Now, I ain't going to claim to know what's going on in LT Cobra's head, okay? I don't know how he intended this bit when he was making the video. I don't live in his fucking head, like I just said. That said, I can look at some of the contextual evidence around the joke and show you why it's looking suspect to me by deconstructing it for you. Now, I think the best place to start with that, you know, if this is a joke, you know, a little bit of banter between the boys, you know, having fun. Why the fuck did it dominate about 40% of that video's runtime? Sweet fucking Jesus, it went for 7 minutes in an 18 minute video. I mean, dear God in heaven, who's got that kind of time to, to devote to a fucking joke? And you know what? It's his video. He gets to decide how much time he devotes to any one fucking topic or joke. Fair enough. But... The position of it just being a joke is a lot harder to find justified from an onlooker's perspective when he had over a third of his fucking video's runtime devoted to this joke, and that is only if I count the time he personally devoted to it, not even his guest who he brought in on this. But you know what? I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. We're going to keep to this premise of it being a joke, which, mind you, he's barely even sticking to in DMs between himself and Just Destiny. But I'm going to pick up on that a little bit later, okay? So we're just going to keep hold of this premise. This is just a joke. Now, once Just Destiny had actually copyright struck LT Cobra's video, which I'm going to reiterate again, I'm not defending that. He shouldn't have done it. And in a perfect world, I wouldn't need to reiterate that point multiple times, but we don't live in a perfect world. Regardless... He made a video, Cobra did, uh, on February 2nd with some interesting points, question mark? But what fascinates me is, why was I the only one with a strike? To my conclusion, I believe maybe it's because the support on the video saw the likes of many respectable YouTubers, and that gave JD the shivers. Get on with it! And Just Destiny was over the video, and JD still didn't have the common decency to unblock me and let me stand my ground. Did this prove JD was wrong? Or even worse, a nonce. Yes, get on with it! Here are the screenshots I used for my original Just Destiny video. You can also find them on Twitter if you want a better resolution. Now from his YouTube channel, they're gone. Very suspicious. <laughs> What annoys me is that I can't even get answers nor speak to him, which raises red alarms into whether or not he's a nonce. Now, um, we see here, Cobra is pretty clearly... Uh, sticking to those guns here that Just Destiny is, um, you know, a pedophile. So I'd actually like to get into a few things I find issue with for this reaction. Now, I think the the first thing I'd like to talk about is that uh, LT Cobra right here is calling Just Destiny a suspected pedophile. If you look deeper, Just Destiny did contact me by striking the video, however, not in real life. Now, as I go to appeal for my strike, which is very different to appealing a claim, it was with that there is a legal process to go through, and it reads as followed. Important legal note. By filling out a counter notification, you're starting a legal process. As part of the process, YouTube will need to forward your personal information to the claimant who removed your video. In the claimant may file a lawsuit against you. You may wish to consult a lawyer about this process. If I can 
continue and counter the strike and write a message to the claimant, or in this case, Trust Destiny, it forces me to provide my personal information, such as address, full name, and phone number. Honestly, what the fuck? What's even weirder is that it says the legal rules for counter notifications require us to forward your contact information to the claimant who removed your video. So, if I want my video, which was wrongfully taken down back, I have to give a suspected nonce my personal information on the internet. Now that, Cobra is using this as a defense point to justify his position. We can now safely assume, joke's over. And the reason why the joke's over now, at minimum the joke's over now, is because now LT Cobra is not using this in good humor in any sense. This is him weaponizing his quote-unquote joke and using it to his position's advantage. The humor, it's gone. It's left. It's gone bye-bye. Humor has left the building. Now he's making a statement, plain and simple. And when I say that he's using it to his position's advantage, he's using it to justify him being unwilling to actually go through the dispute process against Just Destiny. Now, I'm going to say right now, I don't agree with YouTube's policy on, you know, fucking the way that they handle their sh the shitty fucking copyright system. They shouldn't be giving anybody anybody's information. But at the same time, that is a problem with YouTube as a whole. That's really not something to fairly attack Just Destiny for. He didn't set YouTube up that way. Granted, he may have known that that could happen, but we can't look into his fucking head and say that that is fucking so. And the thing is, though, he is using the suspected pedophile narrative, one that he, Cobra, nobody else prior, by his own video's fucking admission, has tailored. Now I've noticed there's not a lot of Just Destiny videos, don't know why. I mean, for some with 1.6 million subs, you've made quite a crackdown on alleging exposing videos. And even this video here is somebody kissing your ass. I mean, look at that. He was the first fucking person to ever make this statement, aside from his fucking friends who bandwagoned off of him on Twitter. That's like if I just invented something and then I just said it was because it was because I made it fucking so. What the actual shit would that even fucking mean? It sounded asinine as fuck just saying that sentence. Ugh, jumping fucking Jerusalem, Batman. This kid is like a Leafius here clone, somehow crossbred and spliced together with Tariq fucking Nasheed. Now see, not only does using the quote-unquote joke this way, you know, stop letting it be just a joke, which was a fucking thin position to justify given the length of time devoted to that joke, we've actually got to take into account some implications of this as a serious stance, which it has now been adopted as. Now, the original points of criticism were that Just Destiny uses underage kids dressed inappropriately as clickbait in his thumbnails and in his videos. You know what? Fine. Fair enough. Let's treat this as a serious talking point on Cobra's part now that I've explained why it being a joke doesn't fit. All right? There's no issue with using this talking point in general and just saying, hey, you shouldn't do that. But the insinuation that somebody is a pedophile off of this talking point is a pretty big leap, especially when the fact is that I can actually pull up quite a few thumbnails right now, which you probably see a few of them on screen, from videos that were either years ago to just last week. There are two of them up there. Now, as you can see, they're also about two underage girls. They both are using them dressed slightly provocatively and in provocative ways in the thumbnail. They are using underage girls dressed provocatively in the fucking thumbnail and title and specifying them by name as well to gain views. Actually, not only that, if you look at both of these channels and the videos, I've linked them in the description, you know, go check those out too. Um, you'll also see that they're in the same field as you and Just Destiny, which is commentary. So... These are completely equal footing to what Just Destiny has done. Now, I have a question. This one's from Pyrocynical. This one's from King's Commentary. Based off of the fact that these are an all things being equal situation, do you think that these two are pedophiles? I'll wait for your answer. And see, that's the issue. Most people are going to look at these two people and think, well, they're probably not pedophiles. Probably because we haven't fucking proven anything or been given reason to believe that they are pedophiles. But the reality is... When you create a narrative that has that kind of outcome, you have to start adhering to it in every regard. So these two individuals, by your video's fucking logic, these two are now as equally guilty of pedophilia as Just Destiny is. Do you see why this begins to fall the fuck apart? Because you can actually go on more and more channels and start seeing more and more of this shit. I mean, seriously, we got pissed over Zapti. How many more fucking pedophiles do we have? And the last thing I'm going to harp on for this particular point is simply the fact that you need to actually start paying attention to how he's spoken to Just Destiny in DMs. Now, Cobra and Just Destiny 
they had a long drawn out discussion in discord dms where neither would back down and both did a bit of flexing on one another fair enough we all have those moments, but the issue here stems back to a few sentences near the end. Cobra collapses his position in on itself. As you can see here on the screen, I've got it up in front of you. Um, near the end, Just Destiny asks if LT Cobra really believes that he's a pedo. Cobra answers, answer to your question, I don't know. I'm on the fence. And that's why I didn't call you a nonce to slander you. It was merely a joke. So even if everything I've just broken down before that... Just even if you want to dismiss that entirely about the whole pedophile thing, as far as LT Cobra saying it, this alone puts it into some seriously muddy waters. I mean, even if you looked at everything I had said before this DM has been shown to you and said, you know what, it ain't that deep, still, this clip right here, Cobra himself says, This is mainly the reason why I didn't start the video with some stupid, epic, funny intro like I do in normal videos, because this is very serious. And now he is admitting he has opened the idea of Destiny being an actual fucking pedophile. While still playing the tune of, it's a joke! Cobra, either that position is a joke and it isn't meant to be taken seriously, or that position is something you stand by and need to prove. Life's not fucking Burger King, kid. You can't have everything your fucking way. I'm going to end this by saying that this video is not in any way intended to say that Just Destiny is in the right. And I'm going to clarify that just one final time, just to put it to bed. The purpose of this video is to show that while Just Destiny is in fact in the wrong, he is, make no mistake. But just because Just Destiny is in the wrong, it doesn't make LT Cobra, you know, above reproach, a perfect fucking angel, or even in the fucking right. Sometimes you just don't have someone who is right in a fight. Sometimes you just have two assholes who can't figure things out. And that's kind of what we've got going on here. Please do not send any unnecessary hate to anyone in this video. Don't go attacking anyone mentioned in this video. I've got the links in the description as well. So go check those out and, you know, form form your own opinion. Don't just take my word for things. Go, go do some research and decide for yourself what you think about this whole situation. Now, I'd also like to take the moment to thank the artists who worked very hard on my new character stills. I fucking love them. Um, their social media links will be in the description of this video, as well as the pinned comment. And I'd also like to thank the artists who worked on the thumbnail for this video. They were very kind to offer to do so for free once they found out about this video. So their social media links are also in the description and the pinned comment. Please check out these artists. They are wildly talented, and they honestly, they deserve some love. So definitely check them out. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll catch you guys later.